What's up everyone? Little Big Robots here with another little version of a big robot. And by the way, I'm so happy I pulled the plastic off of these ahead of time so I'm not blinding you with reflection. This is a new scale, 1 25th scale, Joy Toy um, Mecha Orbital Combat Mecha Knight Attack Type Iron Wrecker 5. Um, I collect 1 25th scale Toy Joy, or Joy Toy Mechs. Um, they have 118 scale that is commonly, um, ooh, look at that cool cop pick. Looks like Batman. Uh, is that a, he does look like he has a Batman, okay. Um, the, the 118s are more uh, detailed, but they are also more expensive. These make for a great display. Oh, this comes up with a stand as well, sort of the last one. Um, if you go to my robots playlist or at the end of this video, I'll probably have the last one, the massive one I just uh, reviewed, and it had a stand as well. Now, the stand needed to be tight, so I probably won't put it on the stand today, but let's get out of the box and look. What I love about these, and I've said before, is that, <clears throat> excuse me, they don't bother you with like tons and tons of things to cut, and you know, since they're just in there, you just, it's like you're, for lack of a better term, deploying them. You just, you could just, look at this, you just go flop, flop, right? You take that one, you get the book, which we'll look at. This is kind of different from the old ones. The other ones are a little bit more, uh, I don't know, more t technical readout looking. You usually take this like this, and you just kind of lift it up. Uh, 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 there we go. Pop it out like that, set that to this side. Oh my god, I'm already in love. Let's pull him out. Oh, his armor's loose. That's cool. It gets kind of loosened sometimes during uh, during shipping. So we'll look at that in a second. They are coming with a stand now. Give me a break. Joy Toy is a Chinese-based company. As I said before, I'm considering not buying as many Chinese uh, toys just because they're getting really hard to get over here. But also, I have a feeling, like I said before, that um, we might have no choice soon. Something could go down. I just, it's just, there's been a lot of blood in the water lately. You know? It's its unfortunate because there's some people there and companies there like Joy Toy that make amazing things. And, and so I'm hoping everything works out for everybody and give peace a chance, all that stuff like that. So let's see. Usually it's pretty easy to pull off. What I like is how it's usually kind of just loose in there. You just kind of get it rattling around. So what these are, they're really detailed, pre-painted. You don't have to paint them. You could, of course, do whatever you want. The stand usually will go like this and lock into place, I'm guessing. Yep, there you go. Simple stand. Make sure you do not just start bending these. You get your screwdriver like this. You know, I might, I'm going to end up trying to stand out, aren't I? And you know what? Let's just pull it off like this. I'm just going to use one arm for the stand, not two. Because one, two is going to be looser. It's going to be, so that's pretty, pretty tight. Let's get that. So you put it basically in a position you want. I know you're not caring about the stand right now. Let's get to the bot bow, but and then let's tighten the bottom part just a bit. Also, this will help just um, with uh, gunplay and stuff. You get stands and it helps just pose them and then keep the pose. Look at these. These were cool because people thought when they first showed the design that they were wings and they're not. They're like blade blades. Um, you get a lot of blade type weapons. Look how they look in the light. Isn't that cool? You get a lot of bladed weapons with Joy Toys, but this is an innovative way to use them. Uh, the, the, the guns they always have like this are always insanely fun. You have little clips you can remove, parts like this you could, with the other Joy Toys you can take apart and make things out of them. It, you, I can already tell, you see all the little parts are slotted, so somehow this all comes apart and probably can sit on his shoulder or something like that. You have a pilot, of course. Pilot is 125th. Really detailed, of course, 118 is even more detailed but they're also more expensive. And then extra junk, which is always good for, I have a box of Joy Toy extra parts, so you can sit there and pose them and, and see all the little arms and stuff you get, so we'll look at that in a second. Let's take a look at the cool dude here. The last one I reviewed was the, which one? The, the one, uh, the Purge 01 is huge. Compared to this one, it's huge. This is a, a bit smaller which I'm happy for because I don't need all, you know, everything to be huge. But the, it's kind of reminds me of this one. I was using this in comparison on the last one. It's a similar design. You see how they're kind of linebacker looking? But every Joy Toy I get um, has a different, you know, they, they still look unique. None of them, no two feel alike. So as I say to everybody whenever I do these, if you're going to want to pose the arms and you can pull them out usually like that pretty easily, 
whenever you pose any part of the, the bot like this, they're pretty sturdy, but you want to grab both parts at once. You don't just want to go and just start bending. Oh, this is pretty easy. It doesn't even pop, which is weird. And this one, I believe, has the normal pop. No, it's okay. It's a ball joint too as well. Okay, so that might loosen up over time. That's a little concerning, but this one was cheaper than the the big red monster, the Perjo one that I got. Uh, but you can tighten that up with a little bit of a um, rubber cement, um, you know, stuff like that. So you can, you can get into position and then put it back in. But these are not a not a big deal to put in position right now. So you want to get them kind of fluffed out, you know, pulled out. Usually the legs, um, the legs are going to be a backwards leg type leg. They don't really have human. Oh, this is kind of a human-y looking one, isn't it? It looks it's like a normal human style bent. No, it goes back. I guess it does go over with. Legs are pretty simple. Looks really cool. I love the paint. This kind of like matte, semi-satin matte finish. That's a little bit loose, but you can pull that apart. Like I said, add a little bit. Um, it does remind me so much of this one. If you look, let's put his arms down a bit. This linebacker one. And that cool. I mean, look at the look at the details here. Every one of them, they just put so much into it. Uh, people do, all, you know, as with gunpla models, you do see some seam lines and stuff like that. But like I've said a million times before, seam lines would happen in real life as well. Doesn't bother me. You're going to have little attachments, attachment points a lot of times for all sorts of cool stuff. And a lot of these little parts will move, and you can just tweak with them. So I'm really curious. Oh, here's here's where all the blades go. Okay, but there's six, two, four. Yeah, so we're one, two, three, four. We'll figure that out now. Let's look in the cockpit. The cockpit is the all important thing. Lately, they've been adding a tube. How do you do it? How do you do it? I don't want to break it. Okay, oh, that goes up. Okay, shoot. don't scare me like that. So that goes up, goes back. Now, this is exciting. I didn't know it was going to be like this. This is one that I reviewed earlier. What you do is some of these, they've been building these like kind of this wider looking shape. You have the, 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 the seat that goes down, then they're really simple, right? But you can pull it out so you can put. This, the one twenty fifth size uh, characters in there with this, you know, with the seat. You can take the seat out, and you might have to bend the legs or whatever. This is a one eighteen scale figure, and they can go in there as well. So it looks like, excitingly enough, they're doing the same thing with this one. See, so it's the same design. That's cool. I enjoy how simple. Look at the detail in there. So you get some cool details. You get all the frontal stuff. And um, if you wire this up, that would be amazing. That would look really cool. So see. The little 125th people typically will ride right there. Um, I don't think the 125th, I mean the 118th, you do have to pull this out. I don't think they sit on there at all. Yes, yeah, so you have to pull this out. So it, it kind of just catches them, and then you, you can ride it in there, and I'll show you the pilot in a minute. Let's go ahead and put that in there. So that's cool to see. They're sticking with that. I guess on this design, they're sticking with it, on this kind of bulbous design. So you got some detail there. So it's a real simple latch. I love that kind of... You know, it's just a real simple thing. It doesn't need to be all foldy. Everything doesn't need to be super complicated. Um, so let's look at the instructions and see what we're missing here. So it's going to have the blades on the back as well as the front. You're going to have a little English. It'll always tell you the kind of lore stuff. I wish they put a lot more English, but you know, it's a Chinese-based company. So this will show you how you can take everything apart. But um, as you can see, it comes assembled. But if you wanted to, you can you can get it down to kind of like a naked robot. So like the armor comes off. You can often swap the armor with other pieces. You can mess around with that a lot. I believe this will come off here, the ammo pouches. All this will kind of come off, as you can see. And you get a really interesting bot underneath. Um, so it's kind of worth it for that alone. Oh, you can put different style armor in there. Okay, so that's already on there. Okay, so where is it having us do these? Let's see the backpack. So you got four. So, oh, I need to get the attachments. That's what I need to do. Let's get the attachments put on the swords, the wing sword things, and then uh, we'll pull out the pilot. So, see, ammo, got extra ammo cases. Dog hair is always optional. So, you can shove that in there. I'm curious if you can make a different style gun. A lot of times you can, uh, yeah, here you go. So, you can see you take apart the gun, and then you can make like a gun. There's a handle for like a sword. So, you can make like a giant sword thing. So that's cool. They're, I like that they're just kind of innovating on the basic design. They're not going crazy in some ways. So this is cool. You just go, I want to make sure I get it right. I'm looking through my camera, so it's a little bit hard to see. Uh, that's the sword. Okay, so that's that part. So this goes up top. 
like that. Okay. So we want to do it backwards. There we go. So that's going to go like that. Let's do that four times. They always fit really tight. Look at the, look at, see the sheen? Just a real basic paint job, but it just always works. And it just saves you, if you want to paint them yourself, you can, but it just kind of saves you time when you don't have to. But you see I have these little attachment points? Sometimes you'll have, you'll be able to use those for whatever. Uh, is that right? Yep. Okay, so next, should be able to put these here, up, and then bend them down. Okay, so I'm going to do one on the bottom first. You will hear a little popping here and there, so it's kind of normal. It's the paint, you know, kind of cracking and stuff. So how much farther can it go down? Oh, that's cool. You could do like that. Sorry, I'm, I'm not even noticing that I'm not letting you see what I'm doing. Can the backpack just literally come off? I believe it can. There it can. Easily. Cool. Very cool. So, and so you could probably, you might be able to fit that backpack on another uh, joy toy. Let's go like that. Let's try to get them to match, you know. Upside down bow. All right, like that. Make kind of like a wing, set of wings, but you can really adjust them quite a bit. I think you could do like that, like an open. See how close I can get it to the body. So see, you can already see kind of the, the interior, the kind of inner frame in a way, if, as it were. Uh, that's cool. I'm digging that. I want them to be down a bit though. Look at that. You could do it's just a real simple design. Like it's just now. What's the what is the the pose that they typically like to use? Straight out and down. So yeah, they're doing kind of like a wing thing. And then the idea is you're going to take your stand, real simple mount. So let's get him in a cool position, like this, flying. I'll add his gun and stuff here in a minute. These should, do these go up? Yes, they do. I was worried about those. Oh, you hear all that nice fresh paint still drying? <laughs> he's like, over there. So he's, he's like, over there. Can't get his legs kind of, ca oh, they're not clicking either. These are just a, a, a uh, you know, held in place. That's different. That is really different to have with a joy toy. Actually, this could help you just kind of stand him up. Put that in his butt, as it were. Uh, you got the you got the basic. There we go. Look at that. Hey, 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 hey. That's not bad at all. Hey, hey, hey. I'm digging that. Look at that. He's kind of like flying. Now, if I put the other arm on there, of course, you could put him up higher in the sky. But you could put him like this. Now let's get his pilot. Let's get this off a bit. Get this here. I don't want to make this video as long as the other one, so I'm going to quickly kind of put him in there. So with the pilot, you get uh, usually a helmet, some options, little guns. The little guns I usually kind of lose, so I kind of I'll put those into a plastic bag. Optional hands. Looks like you get a little additional, oops, I'm not even showing you, a little additional backpack. That's different too. So he could be flying alongside. Little guns are always nice. Got little components. So see, they give you just a ton to work with. Of course he has a ponytail. Of course he does. So see, you could have him piloting it. So for, for this one, you're not going to have him in a sitting position. You're going to leave him like this. And then you're going to take him. Just slide him in there. So he could be open. Like, this would be cool. Check this out. So he's pointing, so I'm going to make him pointing. Do I have a pointing hand? I do not. Darn it, I wish I had a pointing hand. So the, the pilot is pointing is the idea. See? And now the, the bot is copying what he's doing. <laughs> that is so good. So good. That position's great. I like that. I didn't think I would, I thought I wanted it higher, but I kind of like that. It's also really, really solid. There's no, um, you can see the wobble, but it's going to stand. It's going to stand. Um, stands, if you've ever watched my uh, my uh, videos before, you know that stands are my favorite thing that, that people can provide with their toys, companies can provide. It's, I wish they would do it more often. Um, a lot of them don't. It's just, you know, a, extra plastic, I guess. Uh, 
uh, let's see this these can sometimes be hard, be hard to hold there should be a way that you can attach it can't remember how but let's get that just held for now hold in place for me kid would you come on just hold there we go so that's let's put it up more so it's balanced it's to shoulder there we go oh ooh, ooh. get it in his shoulder what a fantastic now the the purge if you haven't gone and see my watch my purge which i did before review before this one that one was ridiculous but this is also really cool looking look at that I'm digging these as blades, as a wings, I mean, not as blades. I don't really do uh, big guns, but I kind of dig that he's like a flyer, you know, like a sniper or something. He's going to get position. He can have his 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 finger pointing, and the and the bot is mimicking his because it's reading his movement. You know, look at that. That's fantastic, fantastic. And I'm so happy to see that that this type is going to be a recurring thing. So. I was confused. Somebody explained it to me before, but it looks like this design, when you see this kind of bulbous look, it's designed to hold one or the other. So remember, you could use your 118 scale figs, which are much larger, and put her in there. In fact, what I did last time was I removed the seat, and I believe I bent her legs. Now, she's got these kind of weird legs on, these uh, exoskeleton kind of legs. Let's see if she'll go in there. So it's not perfect, you know, you, you, she's not actually sitting there, but it still works. So see, she actually looks, in the in the 125th scale, she actually looks really, really good. It looks a bit more like a personal, you know, like a smaller suit. Whereas with this guy, you see how tiny he looks now compared to it? So all depends what you're going for. Man, I love these, like, clawed-looking feet. So another great one. So happy I have it. Um, trying to think what my favorite is. I still just really like the basic linebacker this one but this one is the same design but just cooler looking i really really like this black it looks so um it's satin so you can see how it has just a bit of a just a bit of a glint to it but these designs in the back are built for flight and so it just it's just a nice nice touch i'm loving this one i'm so happy i'm running out of shelf space i've got to be careful <laughs> but anyway that is the 125th uh, iron wrecker 05 uh subscribe I do, as my channel is called, reviews of little big robots. Keep an eye out. I leave a comment. I'm trying to get to like 3,500, 4,000 subs by the end of the year. I think I can do it. Not bad. What do you think? Pretty cool. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.